In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Sudachi. Sudachi is the new Switch emulator for Android. After Suyu and Yuzu were closed, now we only have this option to run our games. I will show you the official repository where you can download the APK, but also I will show you the configuration you need to do in order to play your games properly. You can find the link to the official repository in the description of the video. Here you can find all the information related to the project, to the Sudachi emulator, so we are going to go down until we find the releases section. Here we just need to click on releases or latest releases and go down until we find the APK file. This is the application we are going to install on our Android device. Click on the file name, click on download and install it as any other APK. Now we have opened the application, we need to select the prod keys. I cannot share them, sorry, you need to find them online. And we select the ROMs folder where we have all our games. After this, the application will load all our games, but we are going to go to the settings. First, I will load some GPU drivers, you can find them online. These are for Adreno specific, most of them, so if you have a Miley GPU, sorry, you don't have this. And now we can go to advanced settings. Here in system, you can change the username. Instead of Sudachi, put your username. And then you can change the emulation region and also the emulation language. In my case, Spanish, because I'm from Spain. Then you can go to the graphics section. Here, leave the first option as it comes. And then move down the resolution a bit, just to have better performance. Apart from that, we can go to the debug section and make sure you are using Vulkan and also in CPU backend, we are using NCE. This is very important to have the best performance. Also in my case, as I'm using an Adreno GPU, I will select a Turnip driver so I have better performance. Anyway, if you want to test a game that works uh, pretty well with Sudachi and also with Suyu or Yuzu, you can try Demon Slayer. This game plays at uh, 30 FPS but almost you can play it almost from start to finish without any problem. In the background, I'm just showing some configuration that you can do per game, like mapping the controls from a Bluetooth gamepad or whatever. In case you have some front-end emulators like Daijisho, you can use also Sudachi to install the games directly. You just need to modify the emulator you are using to run the games, from Yuzu or Suyu to Sudachi. Now you can go to your library and just run any game. Here again, I'm using the Moon Slayer because this game runs pretty well. So that's all the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And also if you want any other type of video, just leave in the comment. I will do more videos on emulation, like converting an Android tablet or a smartphone into an emulation machine or a game console, and also how to convert your device into a Game Boy or Nintendo DS with a skin, also 